while opening the file in the read-only mode protects it from being um, edited accidentally but however sometimes it tends to create confusion hi this is cj and in this video i'm going to talk to you about how we can stop microsoft word files uh, opening in a read-only mode in windows okay so let's get started all right so first thing um, i'm going to show you different ways we can actually try to circumvent this problem the first thing that we need to understand is that if on right clicking this is a reference file so on right clicking this file uh, and properties if you see that there's a read only box here checked so you uncheck this box like this and that should allow you to um, open the file and then make additions to it uh, you can edit the file, save the file, make new changes, right? That is one of them. Now, the second thing is that you can do is that if the file has got some kind of restrictions and you have, you are the one who has actually uh, imposed those restrictions, so you can, um, and you have forgotten how you done it. So you can open the file and go to review and then click on restrict editing. Right, this particular feature uh, once enabled uh, does not allow uh, file editing. So you have to click on this one, and at the bottom you will see stop protection. So you click on this, and it's going to prompt you for a password. So you type the password, and now you can uncheck this one, and the restrictions will be gone okay now you will be able to restrict it you if you go back here again it's going to give you the same default options as if you have uh, you're you're about to restrict it again right that is just another example of how you can actually um, you know stop the file from not getting edited now the third one is that you can when you when you um, launch a word file or powerpoint sometimes you see a bar out here which says an and read only mode right so we can actually circumvent that as well yeah all we have to do is click on file click on uh, options right click on the trust center and in the trust center we click on the trust center settings all right and as you can see in my case I have uh, disabled this thing already yeah so i have disabled the macro settings but what we have to do is we have to go to the protected view like this on the left side and on the right side as you can see it says protected view opens potentially dangerous files without any security prompts so what is essentially it does is that it it opens the file in the protected view not allowing you to edit it unless you have clicked on that button and once you have clicked on the button to uh, edit it to it's actually invariably accepting the risks right so Microsoft um, there are certain files that uh, that can be embedded with some uh, executable files right so Microsoft is, has given you this neat feature where you can actually you know uh, stop it from being uh, automatically executed on your computer by enabling these features so uh, this comes with a disclaimer that if you are absolutely sure about all the files that you download or, or you get from the people do go ahead and then you can disable each one of these feet uh, of this file uh, of this um, features and then click on okay now you will never get that kind of prompt which actually you get it here once you open a microsoft uh, word powerpoint excel files or visual for that matter you will ne never get that so that, that's exactly how you can actually you know uh, you know fix that problem as well but once again it comes with a disclaimer that if you think that there could be a file which which you may have downloaded from uh, it's better off to leave that um, box checked in again you click on file click on options click on trust center trust center settings protected view and then just re-enable all these three options in order to keep yourself protected other what it will do is that it will going to continue to give you that bar at the top and allow you that yes uh, or ask you or prompt you if you want to click on that uh, if you want to allow editing the file okay that's that's well last but not the least uh, we can disable the print uh, or the preview pane in the file explorer as you can see that if i click on this file it automatically gives me a preview now what it does is that 
while you are actually uh, previewing the file, it invariably tends to uh, end up locking your file, resulting in the read-only mode in the Word document. So what we can do, if we can disable this uh, print preview, or, or sorry, preview pane, then it also going to help you uh, open the file in um, you know read-write mode. Okay, so how we can go ahead and um, disable this. So you click on the view, right? And you click on uh, the preview pane and then just uncheck it or I'd untoggle it, I would say. Now this is gone. Now this is not going, to, this is going to allow you to open the file in the read write mode as opposed to just the read mode because by virtue of clicking on this thing and I'm previewing the file, the windows tend to end up locking the file. Uh, I hope you like this video. I really appreciate it if you give it a uh, thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.